All right, hello everyone. I'm doing a slightly different video than I always do one. I will cover the information on how to install Garage Bad Dream Adventure since I get questions about that from time to time on. I mean, there's benefits from doing that to myself as well because the more people are able to play this game, the more chances I have to complete it myself. So first of all, you of course need to get the game on. But I think the best place is this site called My Abandonware, you can get plenty of games you cannot buy anymore. And it has been uploaded here some time ago. And I have used this site before, it is completely trusted. You just click this button, or this button, the bright blue one, and save the archive file. I have already done that, so I'll move to the next step. So open up the archive. And um, extract all the files. I've heard that some people are able to run the game just as it is on modern operating systems, but most of us aren't so lucky, so you can try opening up the image file with some software like Daemon Tools Lite, for example. I'm just running the game, but I doubt it will work. So, in most cases, like in mine, you will need a Windows XP emulator. For that, my emulator of choice is Oracle VirtualBox, so you go to virtualbox.org, click, click the big shiny download button, and then choose your operating system, it's Windows for me, and download the emulator. Okay, when you install it, boot it up, and you'll want to get a Windows XP image file, so I won't show you where to get that, there are plenty of places you can download that, maybe you have a CD of your own, so that's great. But for this I'll, I will quickly show you how to get through the installation, so you wouldn't need to go somewhere else. And my virtual box is in Lusania, for some reason my operating system is in English, so I don't know why that is, but just follow which buttons I'm pressing, right? So click new, call this Windows XP or whatever you want, I already have one, so I'll call this Windows XP 2, and depending on what version of Windows XP you have downloaded, select either 64 or 32-bit, it's 32-bit for me, click next, select whatever here, you can just leave it as it is, you can always change it later, I think, click next, I will need the virtual hard disk, leave it as it is, so it will create a 10 gigabyte large folder. But this is alright as it is, click next, 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 and here it is now. Go to right click and click settings, then click system, now make sure that in the boot sequence tab, where it is called in English, the CD image is above Iron Drive because we will need to boot the system from a image file for the first time. Then go to storage and click the CD icon and then click the little CD icon right over here and select your Windows XP image. Mine's right here. Click open. Okay, and you might also want to do a shared folder just for your convenience. For that, click plus folder button here. Select a directory. You, it can be wherever you want. I'll put mine on the desktop, just for the sake of convenience. And click the automatic uh, connection here. Uh, it's set. So if you want to transfer your files between your emulator and your actual computer, you just put files in there. Then that's done, click launch. 
and then you set up windows like you would always do it might take several minutes depending on your computer speed you are just click enter enter it will format your virtual hard drive real quick and yeah as far as windows installation goes this is a short version just to show you the gist of things and if you have problems with that just look up some other tutorials there are plenty of dedicated tutorials just for that this is the one for garage installation ah uh, the sound of childhood yeah once you get your windows running there is one very important thing you have to do in order to get the game running for that you need to go to control panel go to language section regional and language options now select this install files for east asian languages this is just crucial for the game otherwise it won't run click ok then go to advanced up tab here and for non-unicode programs you want to select japanese language apply and restart the operating system and if this doesn't work immediately you either need to still have the windows cd image on the emulator or you might need to download the east language pack separately from somewhere just google it now to get your shared folder to work properly go to devices and it's all guest editions this is the bottom option here and proceed with the installation like you would usually it's probably best to reboot the system now when you go to my computer you can see your shared folder right here and their network devices now it's still just a cd image so you can either install diamond tools on or whatever else software that can run image files or you can just extract the files on your main operating system and put those files in your shared folder do whichever is easier for you i'm too lazy to mess with my those xp emulator too much so i'll just put all the game files in the shared folder because I'm pretty sure it works without the CD image file. Here they are. And then just click this file. And it should work. And here we go, the game is running. I know this is a pretty complicated installation process. It required me quite a bit of time to get it figured out for the first time. Yeah, thank you for watching, I hope I helped you. And good luck figuring this game out.